Chapter 4, Law and Marriage Everyone in the Sotomayor family expected Sonia and Kevin to get married. Sonia and Kevin expected it too. They had been sweethearts since high school, after all. So, in the summer after college graduation, they planned their wedding. This was the right time. In the fall, Sonia would be starting law school at Yale. Her childhood dream of becoming a lawyer was going to come true. The wedding was held on August 14th, 1976, at St. Patrick's, uh, Patrick's Cathedral in New York City. St. Patrick's is a big, huge, beautiful church on Fifth Avenue. How did Sonia and Kevin get married in such a fancy place? Junior, her brother, worked for the church. <clears throat> After the wedding, Sonia and Kevin moved to New Haven, Connecticut. That's where Yale Law School is. For the next three years, Sonia studied law. Kevin got a job in a science lab. Sonia worked part-time jobs, too. One of her jobs was as a bouncer in a campus bar. Hmm, what did that have her doing? Sonia had to make sure everyone was old enough to come in and that no one came in without paying. She was strict about the rules. Law school was hard. Harder than Sonia had expected. She had to study all the time. Once again, she felt she had to prove herself. Just like at Princeton, there weren't many Latino students or other minorities. Affirmative action had helped Sonia get into Yale Law School. At Yale Law School, Latino people held some important jobs. In her first year there, Sonia met Jose Cabranes. He was a legend to many Puerto Ricans. Once he had been a lawyer for the governor of Puerto Rico. Now he worked at Yale as their top lawyer. Quickly, Cabranes became a mentor to Sonia, a person who gave her advice and helped her career. Sonia worked part-time for Cabranes. She also learned a lot just by watching him. Sonia saw how he spoke and acted in front of people. He was smart, kind, and generous. He also cared deeply about the things he believed in, like the future of Puerto Rico. Cabranes was a Hispanic person from a poor background who was treated with a huge amount of respect. For Sonia, law school was a lot like Princeton. She started out slowly, not sure of herself. At first, she never raised her hand in class. But by her final year of law school, she was doing well. She wrote an article for the Yale Law Journal, and it was printed. Only the best students had articles in the journal. In October 1978, Sonia and other students were invited to have dinner with lawyers from a big law firm in Washington, D.C. The law firm was looking to hire Yale grads. Sonia understood that the dinner was like a job interview. If the lawyers were impressed with her, she might be offered a job. But the dinner didn't go well. The man sitting across from Sonia was one of the heads of the law firm. The very first words out of his mouth were about affirmative action. Did Sonia get into Yale because she was Puerto Rican? Yes, Sonia said. She was grateful that Yale Law School wanted more students of color. Being Latino had helped her get accepted. The man thought it was a big problem. He said law firms shouldn't hire affirmative action students. Why? Because they'd just end up firing them a few years later. Sonia was shocked. The man assumed she wasn't as good as the other Yale students. He'd actually said so to her face. Sonia never took things lying down. She was a fighter, and she made a formal complaint to Yale. She said Yale shouldn't allow that law firm interview, that law firm to interview law students on campus, not if they were going to treat Hispanics unfairly. Eventually, the law firm apologized, but they didn't offer Sonia a job. She didn't want to work for them anyway. Now what? Sonia wondered. She would be graduating from law school soon, but she had no job offers. Then one night in the law library, she spotted a room full of people. Cheese and crackers were being served. Sonia was hungry, so she went in. She also wanted to find out what was going on. That's when she met the person who could offer her the perfect job. The job she had been dreaming about since childhood. 